USA has rolled out vaccines for 5 to 11 years old and 23 million children have already been vaccinated. In Singapore, more than 100,000 children have received the first dose. Meanwhile, Europe has shown green signal to vaccines for children aged 5 years and above. What can we say about the Indian scenario? See, as far as India is concerned, we have always felt from the science perspective also that particularly if we look at children who are between two years above till 10 years, you see, basically they suffer from very, very mild infection. In fact, you know, our zero surveys showed in both rounds, you know, our children were also infected to the tune of about 70% of zero positivity was there in children. Despite vaccine not being there, that means somewhere they got exposed, right? Without even having large manifestations. But then, you know, again, uh, we believe in science and our vaccine trials have taken place. And particularly Bharat Biotech vaccine trial was there up till children focusing up from two years onwards. And so that's how, and this is the first vaccine which has been given approval. So we have started, you know, if you look at in India also, our comprehensive national nutrition survey has shown that we suffer from double dual burden of malnutrition. That means we have either acute malnutrition and we are also having obese children also. The children who are obese basically, they are, you know, primarily vulnerable to other comorbidities also because obesity forms the backbone of everything like diabetes, hypertension and all, which will be more seen in more older age groups. So that's where we have started rolling back our vaccination program from 18 to 15 years of age and we have started with the co-vaccine and gradually I think we should be going to 12 years of age but as of now I will say that there is no trade-off between opening of schools and giving of vaccination. Vaccination will be given at the due point of time like you will see Mumbai has already started you know op- uh, or given the announcement for opening the schools from 24 January onwards. So we should be going from this direction. So this means that government should stop closing schools for children? You see, the, again, I'll say Nishay had asked a very, very important question because on 5th of September, I as National President of IPSM and all my colleagues, we had issued an advisory for the government there is, that there is no trade-off between the closure of schools and vaccination. We have gone many, many, you know, years back in terms of development of children and child-to-child contact is a very, very important thing for the growth and development of not only, you know, the children, but of any nation. If Imagine if we go four years back in terms of development of our base, which is formed by children. The children are hardly, you know, interacting with each other, their development, both, you know, cognitive, mental, and otherwise also, you know, everything is going down. And particularly if you talk to pediatricians, you will know that, you know, the children who are about three years of age, how much they are talkative. But now they just sign off, you know. So it's, nobody will, uh, as uh, you know, kind of appreciate the fact that from a country's growth perspective, that we have gone four years back, not only in terms of education, but in terms of overall development, which is so very important. So there is no trade-off between the vaccination and closure of schools. Schools have to open and as and when the vaccines are available, they should be given to the children. But children, let me tell you, are the best followers of COVID-appropriate behavior also. Many successful programs in our country we have launched, you know, because of children. Something like during Diwali, we used to burn crackers say no to crackers every child came and told parent that my teacher said that you are not going to bring crackers and so much of noise pollution used to be there so that's how you see if we empower children that they wear masks they wash their hands regularly they maintain distance they will go home tell their parents also they'll tell their elderly dadi dada nani nani and all that everybody follows the same thing so and children are very very effective communicators or they're important messengers of change so we should not kind of you know undermine the power and this is one of the very beautiful you know i will say success stories of say no to crackers 
and I will say that you know we should form a kind of COVID on Mulan Sena through children and we should make them the messengers of change. So this will only happen when our schools are open. They are going to listen to the teachers, they are going to follow some sense of discipline and also they are going to you know kind of play a very effective role in control of pandemic. Music